Are we set? You guys got a shot? Well, who was your favorite player on that team? Brunson, he operates best in the lane. It's gonna be an eye-opening moment. Brunson fires, three-pointer, bang! I'm just me. Oh, what a move. Jalen Brunson. So, Jalen, as I, as I look at this whole situation, you, father, so you grow up watching your father play for the New York Knicks, and then you end up playing for the New York Knicks. Is that like a dream come true? You can't really put it into words. It's, uh, it's pretty special. I just remember just being a kid and uh, having Knicks stuff around. We still have old Knicks blankets from when he played, so um, it's pretty special. So do you remember any of the games or the players that were on that team? Who was your favorite player? So, um, remember any games? No. I remember the players. Uh, like, I remember uh, Sprewell, Patrick, uh, Marcus Canby. I think it probably felt normal. It did. You know what I mean? It was like, it, it wasn't like, whoa, wow. It's like, no, that's where my dad works. Yeah, it was, um, I just remember like when I used to meet like players yeah. like that, like it just, it became normal. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I used to bring friends around, like, oh, like you met this, is, this person, that person. I'm like, yeah, I met him, but right. I see him all the time. Well, who was your favorite player on that team, on the, on the Nick teams back in the day? It's a toss up between, I think, Marcus Canby and um, Latrell. Actually, you got to throw Allen in there too, because I, I definitely use his jab step a lot. Allen Houston oh. takes it to the rim. Brunson on his first shot as a Nick. Nice little floater, which is something he does so well. How about Tibbs? When, when, oh, I'm sure you, even though you were maybe too young to sort of even have any effect of what it was like to play for him at some point. Honestly, I never thought that would be even possible. I knew that as I grew older, I had a chance uh, to make it to this level. But uh, when I first remember meeting Tibbs was in eighth grade when he was in, uh, in Chicago, my dad was on staff there. And so and he's the same coach, he's the same motivator as he is now. And so to actually be able to play for him is special. It's coming full circle. And so nothing's really surprising me, but I'm just, I'm up for a challenge. I think he's one of these guys that gets the best out of his guys. He's gonna push you. You may not like it, but he's gonna make you the best player you can. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just absolutely. When the ends, you look back, you realize how important a guy like that was. Yeah. And never let you get by. I don't care how good you are, you can be better. Yeah. Playing in the playoffs, what did you learn about yourself in that little foray into the playoffs? Uh, the one thing I learned about myself, no matter what, nothing changes for me. It's moved by the terrific developing play of Jalen Brunson. I approach everything the same, every game, every practice, I try to have the same mentality every time I step on the court. And so um, I was able to do things, I was able to put up um, you know, better numbers and things like that. But um, I, those are things I know I'm capable of, mm -hmm. but I've never really, I, that's not how I define myself. Right. I just know that like, I, have that, I have those capabilities, but I just know that I was doing everything I could just to help my team win. Right, and I, I would think also that even if you thought, whatever you thought about what your possibilities would be, when you go out and do something else, it takes that expectation level up another level in your head. Yeah, um, the amount of times I hear uh, from people or coaches or whatever, like, oh, you're playing great, you're playing great, like, don't worry about it. I'm just, in my head, I'm like, I, yeah, maybe, but I know I could be playing better. Right. It's right. just, it's just never, I'm never satisfied with how uh, I try and, go out there and perform. I'm just, I'm always like, what can I do to make myself better? How can I be better? And um, if I know I start to feel satisfied, I know something's wrong. What else should people know about you, the person? The person? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a family-oriented guy. Um, family first, always. Basketball and everyday life, I kind of keep parallel. Got to be a good teammate, got to be a good person. You never quit on something. Whatever you start, you gotta finish. I'm just me. Whatever you see on the court is what you're gonna see off the court. Bieber fan? <laughs> so, Bieber, Bieber fan. You, you're gonna have to explain that to me. I'm not, and not in a derogatory way, because I, I like him too. Yeah. But I just want to know what your thing is with so, the Bieber. I wasn't always a Bieber fan. Okay. Uh, I have a younger sister, uh, so she was a big Bieber fan <laughs> from the beginning. Um, I remember he came out with an album in 2015, and my sister, this is kind of towards the time when me and my sister started to actually become friends, like right. actually talk and stuff. She's, 
she was like, yo, you gotta listen to this album. I'm like, it's, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not listening to it. And then somehow, some way, I ended up listening to it. And it was really good. So I'm like, all right, this is, this is good stuff. Like, I'll listen to it. And somehow, some way, it came on my uh, headphones for pregame. And then we won that game. So then I thought, I was like, oh, is this like a thing? So now, since college, I have to listen to at least one Bieber song before every game. Which puts you in the right place, space, and you mentally. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know how, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a thing. And, I, and then I became like an actual fan of it. So um, yeah, I don't, it just, it happened. So now tell me this, what made you choose New York? Oh, um, I think this is a great opportunity for me. Uh, obviously, I'll to be here with my dad. Uh, definitely is a plus. Uh, I've known people in this organization for a very long time. Before I was even in grade school, uh, I've known people, some of these people. So uh, it, it was a comfort level with me that I was very comfortable with. And then getting to know these guys as I've gotten here and do all these things made, has made everything a lot easier. And so um, the group I'm with, they're hard workers. They're always in the gym. They're always trying to get better, do things. And so um, that's the type of thing I love to be around. What do you think that you bring to this team? Hmm. I bring myself. And when I mean that, um, I just want to be myself. And I know who I am as a person. I'm a, I'm a leader. I'm a guy who works hard, will do anything it takes to win, sacrifice a lot. And so uh, that's who I am. I don't want to come here and expect everything from everyone here on this team. I want to earn it. I want to earn that respect. I want them to see that this is what I'm about. X's and O's, all that stuff. Yeah, that's basketball, but like, the things that can help us on the court to create better chemistry, uh, it's going to help us. Finish this sentence for me. Jalen Brunson is... Jalen Brunson is Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. My Thank brother, you. man. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much. Really appreciated this.